Right, Governor O'Malley, you signed tough gun control measures as governor of Maryland, and there are a lot of Democrats in the audience here in South Carolina who own guns. This conversation might be worrying many of them. They may be hearing, you want to take my guns. What would you say to them? Yeah, this is what I would say, Lester. Look, the, I've listened to Secretary Clinton and Senator Sanders go back and forth on which of them has the most inconsistent record on gun safety legislation. And, uh, and I would have to agree with both of them. They've both been inconsistent when it comes to this issue. Uh, I'm, the, I'm the one candidate on this stage that actually brought people together to pass comprehensive gun safety legislation. This is very personal to me, being from Baltimore. I will never forget one occasion visiting a little boy in Johns Hopkins Hospital. He was getting a birthday haircut at the age of three when drug dealers turned that barbershop into a shooting gallery, and that boy's head was pierced with a bullet. And I remember visiting him. It did not kill him. I remember visiting him and his mother in Johns Hopkins Hospital in his diapers with tubes running in and out of his head, same age as my little boy. So after the slaughter of the kids in Connecticut, Lester, we brought people together. We did pass in our state comprehensive gun safety legislation. It did have a ban on combat assault weapons, universal background checks. And you know what? We did not interrupt a single person's hunting season. I've never met a self-respecting deer hunter that needed an AR-15 to down a deer. And so we're able to actually do these things. Hey, YouTube fans, I'm Luke Russert. Thanks for checking out our MSNBC channel. Subscribe by clicking right here and click any of the videos over here to watch the latest breaking news, mini documentaries, conversations from Shift, and other digital exclusives. Check it out.